Peace. So I'm here with a quick uh, overview for a new um, device I just got. Here we go. It's the uh, ESP32 S3 1.9 inch uh, display from Waveshare. So I'm gonna take a little uh, quick close look at it and I'll be uh, developing some new uh, hacker gadgets. I have some really awesome uh, new ideas for this because um, I know a lot of people will just see um, things like this and not really know uh, really what to do with these, um, especially for some cool, maybe like hacker cybersecurity type stuff. So uh, let's take a closer look and we'll see uh, what this thing is. So here is the uh, device. I'm going to plug it in real quick. So you can see the really cool display. So what's interesting about this is that... Um, not only is it a development board, um, it also has a area for a battery right there, um, but it also has the screen attached to it. And there's also a RGB light too in here as well. So a pretty nice screen, 1.9 inch. So it's 170 by 320 pixels, uh, 262,000 on the color and um, dual core with the ESP32. Um, but really nice, it's the ST7789 um, display driver, if you're interested. Um, but it has 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, BLE5. <clears throat> so um, you could do a lot of different cool applications with that. Um, and I'm, this is just the stock um, firmware. Oh, well. And there's uh, buttons too going on here. So uh, you could see 16 megabytes of flash, eight megabytes of PS RAM. And this also has uh, hmm, no slot for the SD card. But you can use this uh, button right here, the boot button, as a regular button. And I also have uh, one of the other guys here for size comparison. Another uh, wave share screen. Oh, excuse me. I am uh, mistaken. So there is a uh, SD slot. As you can see, it's uh, right there. Cause I was like, I didn't see it here because on the other one, um, you can see it a lot easier. But they have it uh, nicely hidden away. And you could just put your SD card in there. And then you probably wanna plug in. And then, uh, like I said, there's also a lithium battery header. And this is also um, compatible with uh, Raspberry Pi Pico um, headers too, um, because it's the same uh, board size as the Raspberry Pi Pico. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend these. I'm gonna be doing um, some pretty cool projects with these. Um, the first one will be something like this. So I'm gonna have something similar to this. So I have these uh, three buttons to control the screen. And then I'm going to have um, an NRF24 radio uh, right here. So then this will um, preferably go on top or maybe, yeah, cause I can't have it like that cause that'll be in the way of the buttons. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'll probably have the radio going out this way or something of the sorts, might even have it on the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's just one idea I had for this to kind of um, expand the usage on this. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, that's about it. Um, highly recommend these. Once again, this is the uh, 1.9 inch screen from Waveshare. And I have, uh, I think three other ones to share and uh, make some cool projects too for as well. Um, so whether you're doing like smart home stuff, IOT stuff, 
um, even want to make a cool little hacker gadget um, these are uh, definitely a good start because you got the screen and the board out of the way and I'm going to show you guys um, how to prototype some add-on boards and then hopefully um, get some official PCBs um, for WaveShare products. So you just got to buy the WaveShare product and then order the PCB and then uh, download my code and you got a full frame. So uh, make sure to check back, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.